Habano, and welcome to Power Prayer with Minister Marlene. There's a vacancy in Jesus' heart for you. Have you accepted the Lord as your Savior? If not, it's an open invitation right here and right now for you to join the family of God. Simply say a prayer that calls the Lord into your heart. Ask the Lord to come into your heart right now and to forgive all your sins and wash them away. And then after that, put your hands up in the air and just call on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come in to me right now. I invite you to live your life in me and through me and keep your hands up until you feel the power of the Holy Spirit and you will as soon as you accept the Lord. Hallelujah God. Hallelujah God. Hallelujah God. Today's video, as you can see on the screen, I chose the beautiful sailboat because I want to remind you when you have the Lord as your Savior, He is your best friend. Sometimes He is your only friend. And He is the only one that you can rely on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Now, if you recall the story where the Lord was asleep in the boat with his disciples. He had a long day of work and serving the people. And a storm was brewing. And the wind got stronger and the boat was rocking. And the disciples got scared and they woke up the Lord and said, Lord, Lord, we're going to perish. And the Lord put up his hand and said, Peace, be still. And the water calmed down and the wind ceased. That is what the message is today. Peace, be still and know that I am God. I want you to read in your Bible the book of John, the entire book. It is a book of God's unconditional love. The scripture verse is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And that's why this scripture goes so well with this picture on the screen. If you have the Lord, you will not perish. Peace, be still. So when the storms come up in life, and they will, they could be little storms or big storms, in our eyes, in our minds, but to God, it's peace. Be still. Trust me. That is our message today. To trust the Lord with all your heart, your mind, your soul. Believe in God's word with all your mind, your heart, and your soul. This is a beautiful message 
that I felt like sharing tonight. There is a vacancy in Jesus' heart for you. Please, whatever you do, do not perish without the Lord being your Lord and Savior. We are all going to pass away. We are all going to meet the Lord on that day. What will his words be to you? Well done, my good and faithful servant, or depart from me. I never knew you. I am praying for you and your entire family that you will receive the Lord right here and right now and that you will share this video with everyone you know. It is very important to me and what I am doing here that everyone gets saved. I cannot guarantee that we will all make it to heaven. I cannot. Because of the Bible, in Revelation, there is the scariest scripture you ever want to read. There were people coming to the gate and they were telling the Lord, haven't we done this and done that in your name? These were believers. And he said, depart from me. I never knew you. That scares me. That really should scare you too. Because we were brought up to believe, just receive the Lord, go about your business, and you'll go right to heaven. Well, when I read that scripture in the book of Revelation, I knew that there was more to just asking the Lord into our hearts. It is more. God accepts us as we are. We need to accept everyone else as they are without judgment. We need to forgive everyone, everyone that has ever hurt us. They might not have even known that they hurt us. The scripture even says, forgive them for they know not what they do. As we know, there is a devil and he knows our weaknesses. He knows what will get us angry. He knows what will make us afraid. He knows what will stop us in our tracks. He knows how to get to those parts of us that turn us into the old flesh. He knows how to keep you bound he knows because he's been watching us our whole life. And when we accepted the Lord, he was not going to just let us go. That's why we have these trials going on in our life. That's why we sometimes are under a lot of attacks, right? That is why we need the Lord. You cannot make it through one day without the Lord. We've done it before, right? What happened to us, right? We're living in darkness. We're living in sin, right? It might have been fun for a while, but then you found out that sin is not fun. Sin and darkness are not fun. You hurt yourself, you hurt others, right? 
you felt guilty, ashamed, all right? Maybe you got into poverty, you know? Um, maybe you were robbing people, lying, gossiping, cheating on your spouse, all right? Doing things that you wouldn't normally do. Sometimes the devil jumps on people and they start acting out in ways they would never act out in. You see it all the time. An A student goes and shoots up everybody in the school. Why? All right. Then there's the copycats that do it again and again and again. All right. So we have to pray. And I mean pray. We have to learn how to pray. That's why this channel is here. That's why I came right back after the devil's attack against my YouTube channel. That's why I'm asking you now to share these videos. These are important. We are living in the day right now. We are living in a day that the Bible told us would come. We're in it right now. We are in the front lines. We are in the battleground. You are God's child. You are God's child. You belong to God. Stay with God. Do not turn away from God. Many have turned away. Many more will turn away because of the darkness. All right? Because of the fear because of all the things that are happening and will happen. Get on your knees and ask God for strength. Every single day, God, give me strength today. God, give me your mind today. Put on the armor of God, the full armor of God, the mind of Christ. Ephesians 6, read it so you know what you are to do, okay? How to pray. Ask God how to read his word, how to understand it so that you can understand it for you because everyone understands it in a different way, all right? I know from watching television programs, um, they will bring out certain scripture and, you know, it's like one or two scriptures and that's all we ever hear. We never hear the full story unless we read it ourselves. So think about the Word of God. It's a two-edged sword. It cuts through the very bone marrow. Right? It cuts through right into your DNA, into your bloodstream, into your family line. Okay? So I will be uploading different videos here. Okay, I've had requests to see if I can find some of my old videos. I might be able to. I might not be able to. All right. But I'm going to do what the Holy Spirit is instructing me to do here. Okay. So understand that this is a new channel. It is for power prayer. We are going to pray power prayer here. Prayer that changes your life. Prayer that is spot on, okay? Prayer that knows exactly what the outcome is going to be. It is positive, powerful prayer bullets. I take the scripture of God and I turn it into a prayer bullet. Every year I offer a 15-day prayer journey with me. We spend 15 days and nights fasting and praying. A lot of people couldn't handle that. We get up at midnight. We pray all night long. We go around the clock. 
It's just the way God intended it to be. It's time for you to break free from that fear, from that poverty and lack. It's time for you to forgive yourself and every other person that you are holding anger and grudges against. Because when you pass away, you will go through a life time of reading and feeling and knowing everything you ever did. Everyone you ever hurt. It will be a life review. Everyone you ever hurt. That hurt is going to come up and you're going to feel it. All the hurt you ever put on somebody else. You are going to feel their pain. And you're going to scream. And say, stop. Stop. And God's going to also show you the review of every good thing you ever done in your life. It's very important that I share this with you today. We all need to know what we need to do now. When you think about this video, it will bring you back to the Holy Spirit, to the heart of God, to the love of God, asking God, please forgive me. For I know not what I did to that person or those people. And I want you to start doing that today. That is your assignment. To go back in time and ask God to show you everyone you ever hurt. And one by one. I want you to go and look at the hurt that you caused. Very important. Very strong video tonight. But it's needed. Because I don't want you to perish. And I want you to look at all the good that you can do now. And not just do it for brownie points or saying, oh, I'm going to do this so that God will love me. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver where you give from your heart of who you are. Examples, sowing your seeds and your tithes to the churches, to this ministry. I'm talking about what are your gifts? What are you good at? How can you help your neighbors? How can you help people that you see suffering out there? as you're wandering around. How can you help support somebody who's going through a hard time? Can you give a helping hand? Just like the Lord has done for you. If you are able to help somebody do it. If you see someone hurting, help them. If you're in the grocery store or in a line, 
and you see a family, maybe you can gift something to help that family. There are things that you avoid and you know that. There are times that God put you in a place and you heard what you heard and you avoided reaching out. You avoided helping that person. You avoided praying in public. There are times that you might have forgotten but it's all noted in heaven. There's a book of life. There's a book of records. There is an angel that keeps records of every thought we ever had, every word we ever said, everything we ever did or didn't do. And I told you this is a very strong video. It will bring you to your knees tonight, and it should, because I want you to go to heaven. I want you to forgive your mom. I want you to forgive your dad, and I mean it. I want you to forgive your children. I want you to forgive your neighbor. I want you to forgive your ex. I want you to forgive your mother-in-law, your ex-mother-in-law, your ex-father-in-law. I want you to forgive all those people they are in your heart right now. Some of you are holding such a grudge, such anger. Some of you are so afraid that somebody's doing something to you and that's why your life is such a mess. You're giving them over your power. You're living in fear, worry. God didn't give you a spirit of fear gave you a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. You should be full with love and power and a sound mind. You shouldn't be awake all night worried about, is somebody going to come and get you? What are they going to do to you? A sound mind, peace, be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted. Hallelujah. Let's exalt the Lord. You are blessed. Coming in and blessed going out. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. What are you worrying about? What has been tearing you down? What has been making you sad? What is making you angry? All these things. Let them go. Let it go. And start to live your life. Your own life. The life that the Lord granted to you. It's time. It's time. So if you can cook for somebody, cook for them. If you can clean their house, clean for them. If you can mow their lawn, mow. Don't ask for pay. If you can carry something for somebody, do so. And don't blow a trumpet. Just do it from your heart not because I'm saying so 
but this is what the Lord would be doing if you were allowing the Holy Spirit to live with inside of you. If this was the only video I ever made, it would be okay with me. It is the most powerful video so far in my heart because it is speaking directly to you into your heart into your soul it's getting into your bone marrow the truth goes in to the inward parts what comes out of the heart of man is what's in their soul what's in their heart comes out so think about what's coming out of you what's coming out of your mouth you can have millions of thoughts but what comes out of your mouth will show who you really are and it will also be manifesting in your life what you write down what you type is what's in your heart is it positive or is it negative are you cursing yourself are you cursing others with your tongue bridle your tongue listen to the Holy Spirit what is the Holy Spirit speaking to you right now where are you at with God where are you at with the Lord? Did you accept the Lord? Did you mean it? Did you call on the Holy Spirit? Are you continuously allowing the Holy Spirit to take up permanent residence within you to live his life through you or is it your flesh that's trying to do it you cannot do it without the Holy Spirit you cannot serve God without the Holy Spirit's power. You can't read the Bible or pray without the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I invite you now, come in to me. Come into me, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I invite you to live your life through me. Holy Spirit, rain down. Rain down. Holy Spirit, rain down. Fill me right now. Fill me right now, Holy Spirit. with your unconditional love. I ask for the gift of unconditional love. I ask for the gift of forgiveness. Forgiveness. The gift of unconditional love and forgiveness. This is my prayer tonight. This is my prayer, Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, I invite you to come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Call on the Holy Spirit with me right now. No matter where you are, no matter who's listening. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come and live your life through me. Holy Spirit, you said to invite you. I invite you, Holy Spirit. Fill me now. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Energize me, Lord. Fill me, Lord, with a positive mindset. A godly mindset. A thoughtful mindset. A loving mindset. A courageous mindset. A giving mindset. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. You are all I need. You are all I need. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. And make a joyful noise unto the Lord. He inhabits our praises. When our praises go up, our miracles are coming down. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. We enter your courts with thanksgiving in our hearts, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for sending your Son, Yeshua, to die on a tree for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. I'm committed to serving the King. Holy Spirit, come. Drive out the enemy. Drive out the enemy, Lord. Drive out the enemy and silence him now. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord. This is your home. This is your home. My vessel is your home. Live your life through me. Hallelujah, God. Love them through me, God. Hallelujah, God. Let them see you in my eyes. Let them see you when they look at me. Let them feel your love when they come near me. Let them know that it's you loving them through me. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. You can't escape the Holy Spirit. You can't run from God, run into his arms. He has a vacancy for you there. His arms are open wide for you. 
Hallelujah, God. There's no judgment here. Only unconditional love. Yahweh loves you. And he has a plan and a purpose for your life. Plans to bless you and prosper you. Plans that you and only you are going to receive and know because they are going to start unfolding before your eyes. You don't have to worry. You don't have to beg God. You just have to receive. Thank you, God, for answering my prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, God, for answering when we cry. Thank you, God, for answering me before I even ask. Because you already know what I have need of. And you supply all my needs according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 says so. And you honor your word above your name. You loved us so much. You sent your only son to show us your love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your son, Yahshua, came and honored you. He went about doing the work of the Father. And he gave up his life for us. And now, Lord, we true believers are here right now, giving up our lives for others. We're giving up our lives for the Holy Spirit to come in and take over, to come in and live his life through us. So on that last day, when we are at the gate, we will hear, well done, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done. Amen. If this video has done something for you and you want to comment and share it with others, please do. Many, many people are coming to the channel now. It's growing. Praise the Lord. I know before we had about 26,000 something members. We had to start over again, which is okay with me. There were many people that were non-believers subscribed to the channel. Atheists were subscribed to the channel. I'm calling them back in. Right now, God, I call the unbelievers in tonight. I call the atheists back in. Whatever video you can use, Father, use it to draw them back in. Most of the atheists were drawn in <laughs> by two different things that were going on. One was the 30-minute house cleansing video. All right, the clear version of that and the longer version of that 
prayer can be found on the website, which you can purchase your own copy for $10. You are supporting the channel by doing so. The second way was I sent out angels to go get the souls. Go get the souls, God. I'm doing it again. Go get the souls. Go get the souls right now, God. Send the angels out to get the souls. Holy angels, go out tonight and get the souls. Go get the souls and bring them in. Save souls tonight, Holy Spirit. Save souls every single day and night. Angels go and bring the souls in. Bring them back to God. Those that wandered off, bring them back to God. Bring them back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And believe me, the enemy doesn't want this video to be seen. So I want you to share it more. Hallelujah. Ignore the demons. Ignore the enemy. Pay attention to God. Pay attention to what God is telling you to do for him right now. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. When you get fearful, start praising God. When the enemy comes in like a flood, God raises up a standard against him. So you might as well just praise the Lord. And your miracle will come much faster. Hallelujah. And when you are feeling like everything is coming against you, you lost your job, you lost your income, God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. So a dollar. Do something. Release what you have in your hands so that God can bless it and multiply it. Use it. What God has given you. All right? Use your gifts. Use your talents to make money on the side. All right? Yes. Hallelujah. It's time to rise up. Rise up. Rise up, believer. Rise up. Stand on your own two feet here. And say, God, I am here. I believe in you. I'm going to serve you with all my mind, all my heart, and all my soul, all my energy, all my ability. What would you have me do today? What would you have me do today? What would you like to do today, Holy Spirit? Have you ever asked him that? What would you like to do today, Holy Spirit? Where would you like to go today, Holy Spirit? What would you like to wear today, Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Who would you like to help today, Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, who would you want to pray for today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And stop screaming and yelling at your family members. There's a lot of anger on this planet right now. Don't be a part of it. Shut it off. Shut it down. Walk away. Everybody's all upset. It's what the enemy's planning to break up the families, to destroy your family unit, to take away your joy, to steal your faith, to take away your passion. Steal your energy and motivation. Get you sick. We're out of that. We are out of that. We are not of this world. We are of heaven. We are God's children. We will not play a part in that anymore. The old life has passed away. God has given us a new life. Hallelujah. Thank you, God for second chances, sometimes third chances. You fall down, you get back up. You sin, you get back up. 
Amen? Yeah. And you don't go back and do it again. All right? Dogs do that. So it's time right now to ask you if you will start supporting this ministry. If this ministry is helping you increasing your faith, bringing you closer to God, then you should be on the list of donators, of tithers. If not, why not? Start where you're at. I am telling you, it is God's word, and we are to do it. We are his children. We are believers. I've had people say to me, I don't have any money. I said, okay, <clears throat> you have zero money whatsoever. How are you listening to me? Who's paying for that device you're listening to me on? What are you wasting your money on? Start making a budget. Right? <clears throat> God did not put us in poverty. Who did? Think about that. When you're not doing what God says to do, who's doing that? No one can make you stop tithing. No one can make you angry when we mention the word tithes and offerings. Except for whom? Who makes you mad? What makes you mad about it? When it's the word of God. Who's inside of you that's making you mad? You need deliverance. That's why I have to keep saying, you need to sow, you need to tithe to get rid of the devil, to get rid of the poverty. It's the only way out of that. You will stop the devil in his tracks when you start sowing seed, especially when you're angry about it, especially when the devil's saying, don't give. They're lying. God doesn't lie. You read the word of God for yourself and see what it says to do. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Who are we serving? That's the question today. Who are we really serving? God says be hot or cold. Don't be lukewarm. I'll vomit you out of my mouth. That's another scary scripture. You can't have one foot in the kingdom and one foot out. Believe me, people are looking at us. They're listening to us. And they're saying, wow. The wow could be, wow. They're on fire for God. Wow. Look at their life. So they run to you and say, what are you doing? I'm tithing God. 
I've had that happen to me. I had four cars in my driveway. All right, single mom, working, owning a business, starting another business. I was using my gifts, my talents, when my ex walked out the door, zero income. Not supposed to work because of an injury I had. And I wrote down, what can I do right now to make money? And I started doing it. Putting ads in the paper, getting out there, starting working. All right? There's no difference today. There's so many jobs right now, it's incredible. Because people are not working anymore. I want to know what they're doing. What are they doing? Sitting in their house watching TV? I, I don't know. Complaining that they have no money. They can't pay their bills. But there's a job right there in the convenience store. And they're embarrassed to go work there. I'd rather work there than starve to death. I'd rather work in McDonald's or Burger King than watch my children go hungry. What kind of example is that? I understand that there are many living on a fixed income, social security, disability. That's a different story. But you still can sow a seed. I did it with zero income. Believe me, I had five dollars. I gave it to God. He gave me fifty the next day. Because he wanted to show me that this is real. And I kept sewing and growing. And suddenly I had four cars in my driveway. Businesses running, working, okay? Two other jobs, I had four things going on, believe me, a single mom. And I did it. Seven days a week I worked, night and day. And I wasn't tired, amazingly. So, because I knew what to pray. And I'm not lying. I had people coming to my door asking me, how come I have these cars in my driveway? And I told them, and they were like, yeah, right. I said, look up. Because they said, we have excellent credit, and we cannot get a loan for a car. How come you did? Because I have a God. What God are you serving? The God of poverty and lack and fear? I hope not. I hope you're serving the King of Kings and Lord of Lords tonight, wherever you are right now. The devil doesn't want you to hear this message because it's changing your life. It's making you know who you are, what you can really do to come out of that situation. Yes, yes, you can. By taking one step, one step will change your life. One prayer will bring your miracle. One tithe, one offering starts to open the windows of heaven so that God can start pouring out over your life. 
Miracles are waiting for you. You've been waiting for a miracle, but your miracle is waiting for you. God is waiting on you. The whole host of heaven is calling your name. They're calling you back. They're waking you up. It's a wake-up call today. This has been about an hour. Much needed. For your mind today, for your heart today. And for those of you right now that are pregnant, I want you to really pray to God how to bring up this child. Those of you with little children, I want you to love those children like God would love them children. No screaming, no yelling, no beating them children. Look at the scripture, what God says about his children. Don't you hurt my children. Don't you hurt my children. It would be better for you if a millstone was tied around your neck. You better pay attention to God's word. I'm telling you right now, the children are looking to you parents, guardians, grandparents, teachers, as an example. Children have energy. Children have lots of energy. They're going to express it. Let them run around in the yard. Let them play. Let them giggle. Let them cry. Let them express who they are. You'll have a way better relationship with them. Speak to your children about God, about his love, about how he takes care of his children. Don't sit there talking negative to your children, telling them your sad stories. Children are joy. They're a bundle of joy. They need to know that God brings you joy. They don't need to see or hear your battling. Go in your prayer closets. If you and your spouse love to fight, don't do it in front of the children. Take it somewhere else. I know that I grew up in a house where there was screaming and yelling and all kinds of stuff that should have never happened. So when I had my daughter and the stuff started happening similar, she never knew. She never knew. When she was 18, she came to me and asked me, if her father had cheated on me. She never knew. Because I never put her in the middle. And I've spoken that before. Do not put your child in the middle of your battle. Do not use them to get back at mommy or get back at daddy. Do not do that. They are not a bouncing ball. They are a gift from God. Think about that. Why are the children so angry today? 
Why are they hurting? What's hurting them? When they get to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, they're going to need someone to listen, to remember when you were their age. What were you going through? Believe me, children need love. They need to be heard. And they will express themselves when they're angry. So if you say, you better be in, and you're yelling at them, expect them to yell back. But if you say, all along their life, I love you. Hugging them, saying, what would you like to do today? And do some things with them. I told my daughter, if you break something, just tell me. We can replace that. We can't replace you. If you need to talk to me about anything, come to me. There were many things that we talked about, just like two friends. And people were jealous of our relationship, saying, you need to be a mom, not her friend. And I said, excuse me? It's not your business. You see, it's working, don't you? I would hear her tell her friends, I'm not telling my mother that. I'm going to go out and ask her if it's okay if I do that. That's a good relationship with a teenager. That's because of the Lord. That's because how I would like to be treated. I never needed to spank my daughter. I never needed to scream at her. I was a single mom going through a war zone. And I don't want to share all that on here, but I wanted to share what is on my heart tonight. And I want you to listen carefully for the Holy Spirit's voice. The Holy Spirit is going to talk to you, maybe in a dream or two, maybe in a sudden thought. Listen. Listen for his voice. My sheep know my voice. You will know it's God's voice. There will be no doubt. So listen very carefully. Peace. Be still. And know that I am God. Praise the Lord and pass the miracles. I'll see you on the next incredible life-changing video. God bless you and your family.